Hi, my name is Sophia, and thanks for joining me on this journey today. I think as a bio major, one thing you have to realize is you don't have to go to medical school and you don't have to get your PhD. Those are definitely the norms, but they are not the only options. You might have seen my recent upload where I shared my honest thoughts on Pepperdine University where I spill all the tea. I wanted to make that video in hopes of helping someone out there who's having trouble deciding between Pepperdine and some other universities because I was once in that place of confusion, so I understand that pain. After I made that video, honestly, I had a lot of incoming freshmen DM me on Instagram and ask me a lot of college questions. And quite frankly, it was nice to just know that I'm bringing value to someone else's life and for me to just be able to give someone helpful and useful advice. So with that said, I decided to make a life after college series on my channel because I am a recent graduate, I graduated during the pandemic, and I ask myself existential questions pretty much every day, so I thought, why not just make a series out of this in hopes of helping someone out there going through the same pain. So thanks for clicking on my first episode of the series, now let's begin. Today I want to share with you guys my experience being a bio major at Pepperdine and what my postgrad plans are since I graduated last year. So first of all, I want to answer the question Why was I even a bio major in the first place? I know it might be a stereotype, you know, with a lot of Asians being in STEM but I think for me it was something more than that. I knew I just wanted to help people in one way or another and since I came to the realization at that time at least that I wanted to help people through medicine that's why I ended up choosing bio as my major. So yeah, I was pre-med for the first two years of college, but at that time, I felt like I had a lot of imposter syndrome just because I, I don't know, I felt like I was living a lie almost of feeling like I just like don't belong in this pre-med world. But I'm not someone who forces myself to do something I don't want to do, especially if I'm confused on whether I want to pursue that. So I decided to give up the pre-med route at the end of sophomore year. Um, it was very scary, I have to admit, just because a lot of the friends that I made up until that point were planning on going to medical school, so that was a very common topic that my friends and I would talk about. So I was scared that if I switch to something else and I tell them that I'm not pre-med anymore then we wouldn't have much to talk about and I would end up like losing those friends but it ended up working out and they were very understanding so thank you but anyways after I got over that scare um I then ran into the next existential crisis again of like okay I'm a bio major what in the world do I do with it so then at the end of sophomore year or the beginning of junior year, I decided to get some research experience because at that time, I thought that as a bio major, you're doing either pre-med or getting a PhD. So I got some research experience at UCLA because I wanted to get some like hardcore, real research experience if my plan was on actually getting a PhD in an actual like laboratory setting. And the thing with Pepperdine is it's a liberal arts college and I would say that our science department is not as strong as I would want it to be and because of that, I decided to commute to UCLA a couple days a week and I just wanted to get that real like research experience of going to a graduate school and it all worked out eventually I honestly was so grateful to get into a really good lab at UCLA I ended up volunteering there for a couple days a week and then I was hired to work there full time in the summer, which was amazing. I was able to work on my own project and be able to make a poster and go to different conferences to speak on my research, what I did that summer. So that was really cool. And not only that, it was just really nice to be surrounded by a lot of PhDs and postdocs just so that I can get that like real life exposure and experience of working with people who are already in this industry and it was nice for me to be able to converse with them and get advice from them as well but I again I was really honest with myself and I 
knew that I didn't want to go to graduate school after that experience. At that point, I was just really honest with myself and I was like, you know what, I'm burnt out from academia. I do not want to go to further schooling, whether that be medical school or graduate school, just any type of school. I'm really done at this point. So I decided to just apply to jobs after college. So kind of my mindset was, you know what, I'm just going to take it easy and I'm going to graduate college and I'm going to apply to all different kinds of jobs that a bio major could apply for and from there just see where the world takes me see what job I get first and go with it so I applied to a lot of regulatory positions a lot of quality control, quality assurance clinical research positions and also a lot of project coordinator positions so then it was definitely just a lot of time and networking after college of trying to find a job especially when the pandemic was at its peak to say the least but i was really fortunate to get a lot of interviews at that time i was really grateful for that and my first job ended up being the one that I'm working at right now. I'm working for a hospital remotely right now and I'm doing clinical research. So my job is a little bit more entry level which makes sense because I graduated college recently. But basically it's more of like administrative task and calling patients, following up with them, scheduling patient visits who are part of the COVID vaccine clinical trial and also a lot of data entry. There are a crap ton of different job opportunities within clinical research like it is a huge field it's a little bit overwhelming just because i don't know i don't know what my next step is in life i don't know what i want to do within clinical research if i do want to stay i think what is exciting is that there are a lot of options to begin with which is really amazing um, so then i don't have to like limit myself to one thing which is really nice and I think just being able to work at a hospital is nice because you get to familiarize yourself with so many different people who do different things within clinical research so that you can learn so much from them. The thing with clinical research, I like the operational ends of things more than the patient care. Otherwise, I feel like I would have wanted to go to medical school if I really wanted that patient interaction. I think it's just about figuring out what you want and what you're good at, what you like, what you dislike, what you're not good at. Um, and I think that comes through time, through experiences. Just try whatever your heart is feeling at that moment. Like, what is your soul telling you? Does this seem interesting? And if it does, then try to get some experience. And you might end up hating it, you might end up loving it, but you won't know until you try it. I loved working remotely at the start of the pandemic um, up until maybe January of this year. I really liked it because I felt like I could have a lot more freedom and you can literally work in your pajamas. But apart from that, the more I started working remotely, the more I realized that I like talking to people, I like collaborating with them and just, just being surrounded by people. The remote life is a little bit boring for me. I don't know about you. But for me, it's a little boring. I think as a bio major, one thing you have to realize is you don't have to go to medical school and you don't have to get your PhD. Those are definitely the norms, but they are not the only options. So please don't put that pressure on yourself. And if you are stuck on what to do after college as a bio major or even just chemistry, physics, whatever in the science department, you are doing. I think it's important to just be able to talk to all different kinds of people in different industries and different positions within those industries. Just talk to a lot of people to really gain more insight and knowledge to what they're doing in everyday life and their job and then make a decision from there. Like don't, again, don't pressure yourself to do something within healthcare or biotech, honestly. Like you're going to be put in misery if you force yourself to do something you don't want to do. What's most important is going to be your experience, I promise you. More than your GPA, it's going to be your experience, so focus more on that. Also, whether or not you're in college or you just graduated, please try not to stress. I promise you, it's going to be okay as long as you have confidence in your abilities. And just take it day by day and figure out what your values and goals are. And just make sure that you know that 
you don't have to have your life figured out. I don't think anyone on this planet does, but just focus on your next step in life. It's gonna be a windy path for most of us, so again, just focus on what you wanna do now moving forward. And what you end up doing for your next job doesn't have to dictate what you're gonna be doing for the next 10 years. So with that said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you again for watching my episode one of this series. Let me know what you think and comment down below or DM me on Instagram if you have any more questions regarding just being a bio major. Also, if you have any ideas for my life after college series, please jot them down. I will definitely take them into consideration because at the end of the day, I'm making these videos for you guys.